All right, so I know I want to record a song about the quarantine. So I'm going to name my Word document quarantine song. The next thing I'm going to do is search for things that rhyme with quarantine. And you can see I've already been here before, but that's not really a huge help. Uh, these are my options. Achieve, disease, esteem, extreme, machines, mislead, retrieve, stampede. And then we have some bigger words, which are fun, none of which seem to apply. And then if you go down, we have this table of rhyming words and their category. Is it an adjective, a name, a phrase, a verb? Uh, but yeah, some of these might help me out a little bit, but we need to write some lyrics. And I was really hoping quarantine can be the word we rhyme, but given the lack of options, I might have to rhyme other words and just kind of put quarantine between the sentences. So if I come over here, I know I want to write, write this song with ukulele. So I have my ukulele with me and I'm kind of hot on this chord progression right now. It just kind of has that positive, upbeat vibe that we want right now. As funny or dark as the lyrics might be, we want the ukulele to still be happy. Uh, we could make it sad. I just don't think it would, it would make it too sad of a song. Okay. So, to maybe show my humor here, let's zoom in, make this giant. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. All right, so we have you and do rhyming. Uh, now, as you can see, it's not gonna fit all in one line. So let's bring you down even one more. Okay, so now I have two rhyming lines and let's see how that rhythm works out. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. There's a lot of words in that second line, and that was kind of obvious to begin with, but let's see if we can change the rhythm a little bit to make it fit. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. So we moved some of those words earlier, and I can fit in all that whole, that whole sentence now. So... Do we keep the ooh rhyme scheme? Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. Bye. This Bye. feeling Bye. must be new. And then if we keep the theme, we're going to need a lot of words in this line. It's like... Our parents don't know what to do. Um, I don't know if that's you do, you knew, do. I don't know if that's lazy. Let's see if that fits. We might change that fourth line. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like our parents don't know what to do. That's fun. I always like that angsty feeling, children talking about their parents, because children know best. Um, it's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. I like that. Instead of being about parents, it can be about politicians now. <laughs> Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. Ooh. All right. I like that. That feels like a great hook. So it's like our chorus. It's the thing that will pull people in. Now we need a verse. And a verse tells the story. All righty. So let's say somebody from planet Mars heard our song. They don't know what the quarantine is, but they know it's new. So now we need to tell a story about why we're singing about this quarantine. So if we make it kind of like a diary, day one, day one, I can watch TV. My parents told me 
I'm going to have to read day one. Okay. Kind of playing on the parents want to keep his children active. And we also wanted to kind of be perspective. I'm thinking hopefully by like day five, day 10, whatever. Uh, I don't know what the days are going to get up to, but later on, we want to be a little bit more uh, chaotic. So we want to seem like everything is lovely on day one. Okay, let's see. Day one, I can watch TV. My parents told me I'm going to have to read. That seems pretty all right. Uh, do we go straight to day two? Day two, I went outside. Saw my friends. Now we need to rhyme with side. Saw my friends going on a bike ride, which is true. I went to school today and I ran into some Ellis students outside of the school who were taking a bike ride, which they were biking far enough apart for it to be safe. And uh, there was literally nobody else in the street. So it was a pretty good time for a bike ride. All right, day one. I can watch TV. My parents told me I'm gonna have to read. Day two, I went outside, saw my friends going on a bike ride. That seems all right. So we're just explaining what we're seeing so far. Maybe we get to a number like day four and then we go back to the chorus. So some, we need to keep a happy tone the whole time or we need to start displaying tension in our story to make the chorus ironic. Want the happy quarantine, you know, if everything's positive, that just sounds normal. But if we, if the verses start explaining how things are kind of deteriorating, then we can make an ironic twist out of the happy part of our quarantine. Okay, day three, played, I played lots of video games. Now we gotta rhyme with games. I know it's awkward silence when everyone's listening to me. Um, same comes to mind. One. I hope things will always stay the same. Day one, I can watch TV. My parents told me I'm gonna have to read. Day two, I went outside. Saw my friends going on a bike ride. Day three, I played lots of video games. I hope things will always stay the same. Day four. All right, we're gonna say day four. I'm not even bored. I'm so ready for three weeks more. Um, I don't know what part of the country you're in, but I know Las Vegas is doing three weeks off plus spring break. So we're looking at four weeks total. All right, let's look at our verse one package and then see if we can tie it into the chorus. Day one, I can watch TV. My parents told me I'm gonna have to read. Day two. I went outside, saw my friends going on a bike ride. Day three, I played lots of video games. I hope things will always stay the same. Day four, I'm not even bored. I'm so ready for three weeks more. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. Okay, not bad. I want to get rid of a syllable. Day three, I played lots of video games. Video games is turned into like a triplet. Uh, it's very fast rhythm. I played lots of video games, video games. I played lots of, I played lots. I played... All right, I'm just gonna dish the word video. Day three, I played lots of games. Then it'd be board games, it'd be outside games. Opens the door. Okay, great. So then what we're gonna do is throw a chorus in. And I'm not gonna have to type it again. I'm just gonna write chorus. And that tells me, go read the top. 
All right. So we're going to skip ahead. We're going to skip into the future because we want this song to kind of move along. So we're going to say week two. I've done this all before. I think I'm starting to get bored. Day nine. I don't know. We're jumping into the future here. Because week one would be seven days. So day one of week two would be eight, which would be that sentence, day nine. I know we skip some days. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's worth the humor of staying in line, but if we're really gonna be out for 28 days, I don't have time for that many verses. Week two, I've done this all before. I think I'm finally starting to, finally starting to get bored. Day nine, I've read all of my books. I've read all my, maybe I rhyme with nine. I don't know if that's too on the nose. Day nine, I guess everything is fine. Drove by the Costco just to see the line. Day 10, I decided to take her <clears throat> ride. Went by the park just to see the slide. Mm, not gonna switch to the word 11. Day 11. Okay, let's see what kind of rhythm we have going here so far. Week two, I've done this all before. I think I'm finally starting to get bored. Day nine, I guess everything is fine. Drove by the Costco just to see the line. Day 10, I decided to take a ride. Went by the park just to see the slide. Day 11. Day 11, that's a, okay, messes with the rhythm because of the syllables. Day 11, or is it seven? I'm losing track. When do we go back in to school? I've, I've, I'm. Let's see how that goes. Day 11, or is it seven? I'm losing track, when do we go back in? Not too bad. And then, so we're kind of suggesting that things are falling apart, which is what we want. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because I can't scroll. Okay, let's see what we got so far. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. Day one, I can watch TV. My parents told me I'm gonna have to read. Day two, I went outside. Saw my friends go on a bike ride. Day three, I played lots of games. I hope things will always stay the same day four. I'm not even bored. I'm so ready for three weeks more. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. Week two. I've done this all before. I think I'm finally starting to get bored. Day nine, I guess everything is fine. Drove by the Costco just to see the line. Day 10, I decided to take a ride. Went by the park just to see the slide. Day 11, or is it seven? I'm losing track, when do we go back in? Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. All right, 
right, awesome. So we need a bridge and a verse three. If we want to make it really short, we can do a bridge and a chorus. Um, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, a bridge is the new idea in a song about 75% the way through. <laughs> so we develop a pattern, chorus, verse, chorus, verse. Your brain expects this pattern to continue. So a bridge breaks that pattern to make it seem new and exciting again. And what does it do? Then it returns you back to the chorus. So uh, bridges are used in all pop music to basically just refresh your brain because you get tired of hearing the same thing back and forth. So a bridge, I think this could be like the moment of truth where like maybe we either take it really silly or we take it just kind of like we're not enjoying this break anymore. I'm a bigger fan of the really silly. So week three, take off the caps, week three, which way is up? Has it been four weeks? Cause I've had enough. I'd rather deal with zombies. Week three, which way is up? Has it been four weeks is bad enough. I'd rather deal with zombies or a alien attack. Dreaming about school, coming back. Give me back my recess. Give me back my Gerber. <laughs> Give me back my um, hmm, hmm. Desk. To be, oh, I don't need any rest. And then we need like a two more lines. So let's see, and I don't have a chords lined up for a uh, bridge, but just freestyling here, we're doing this. go minor week three which way is up has it been four weeks yet cuz I've had enough I'd rather deal with zombies or an alien attack I keep dreaming about school coming back give me back my recess give me back my desk I don't want to be home. I don't need any rest. I don't know. I truly am f making this up as I go. Uh, two, four, six. I do need two more lines, I think, unless I just want to hold rest for a long time. Rest. Rest. Okay, I'm holding on an A. Rest. I'm gonna hit like a G7. Hmm, okay. Week three, which way is up? Has it been four weeks I've had enough? I'd rather deal with zombies. Hmm, I see. Week three, which way is up? Has it been four weeks I've had enough? I'd rather deal with zombies or an alien attack. I keep dreaming about school coming back. I keep, oh, whoops, give me back my recess. Give me back my desk. I don't want to be home. I don't need any rest. All right, then we need something that takes us from an A7 chord. Rest. So happy, happy quarantine. Ha! Thinking, 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 thinking. But why should? Hmm. But why?
Oh yeah, did I mention it's almost spring break? I think that'd be just like a spoken line in that way. That'll get us out of that key. I don't want to be home. I don't need any rest. Oh yeah, did I mention it's almost spring break? Yeah, and that can just be a spoken line to get us back to the chorus. And then we have a song. I really want to thank you if you've made it this far. I'm trying out something new on this channel. A lot of my content was flagged with the new COPA rules, so it can't be monetized. Not that my channel is even actually there yet, but once it does, a good portion of my videos won't be able to be monetized. So I was hoping to kind of make some content that could be uh, not seen immediately as for children. Basically no cartoons. Uh, so anyway, I appreciate you watching this long if you did and hopefully you enjoy everything going on this channel. It's a unique and wild time in the world. And uh, actually just today on the news, right before I recorded this, they suggested the school year might be entirely over. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so we're a couple hours later. I started with drums. I kind of started at the top of this list and went my way down. So I made a very simplistic drum beat and then I added some claps. I recorded my ukulele that I got at the beginning of the video. I added a MIDI bass, and then the rest of these are vocal parts. So lead vocal is just my voice clean. Uh, the only thing on it's compression. Um, <laughs> I try to use a wide variety of vocal sounds from completely what my voice sounds like to auto-tuned up an octave sounding like a cartoon. Uh, and then I have two harmony parts, and uh, they're both panned. One's panned left ear, one's panned right ear. This one had pitch crack turned off. I have two shout tracks, again, left and right ear, just to kind of make it sound like a group of people are singing. And then I have this female part where I take pitch correct, and this is the little secret sauce that I've been using since, ooh, I don't know. The secret sauce in all of this is this shift right here, the 37. It shifts my voice from sounding like my voice up into the female register. And so it's optimized for my voice as a male, but then I move it up into that female register to make it sound like a woman is singing along. So anyway, I wanted to play the entire song for you. You're gonna notice that some of the vocals were changed in the process between me trying to figure out what lays nicely or honestly, one of the words was changed because I got it wrong like five times in a row and I was like, well, those are the new words then. Uh, so anyway, here is the entire song of Quarantine Song, beginning to end. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things that you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. Day one, I can watch TV. My parents told me I'm gonna have to read. Day two, I went outside, saw my best friends go by on their bike. Day three, I played lots of games. I hope things will always stay the same. Day four, I'm not even bored. I'm so ready for three weeks more. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. Week two, I've done this all before. I think I'm finally starting to get bored. Day nine, I guess everything is fine. Drove by the Costco just to see the line. Day 10, I decided to take a ride. Went to the park for the playground and the slide. Day 11, or is it seven? I'm losing track. Man, when do we get to go back? Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what we're supposed to do. Week three, which way is up? Hasn't been four weeks yet, cause I've had enough. I'd rather deal with zombies or an alien attack. I keep on dreaming about school coming back. Give me my recess. Give me my desk.
I don't want to be home. I don't want any more rest. But next week is spring break, right? Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you'd like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what they're supposed to do. Happy quarantine to you. I hope you get to do the things you'd like to do. This feeling must be new. It's like nobody knows what they're supposed to do. All right. So that's everything we worked on from the beginning to actually getting the ukulele, about 20 minutes of songwriting, probably about an hour of just vocal parts are probably the weakest part of my whole musical game. Uh, so I put a lot more effort into them than everything else. I mean, just take after take after take. Uh, we yeah, have one of those vocal parts that last one says take 20. So I mean, just trying to get the right sound. And after a while, I just accept that it sounds the way I sound, which I hope you can one day come to peace with also. Uh, so thank you so much for sticking around and listening to this whole video and watching everything. It means a lot and hopefully I'll see you soon.